Teams Jennifer Dowling now breaking down some of those races county by county for us. So Jennifer, give us a look at what numbers are kind of standing out for you so far. Well, those house races, of course, are of big interest, and we've been keeping an eye on that closely, as have the analysts. Of course, the balance of power uh, hangs in the balance uh, for 2022, so everyone is closely watching it. So let's take a look at some of our uh, most closely watched and contested races here. Uh, first, let's start with District 8 with uh, Kim Schreier and Matt Larkin. So Matt Larkin said during his speech last night at Republican Party headquarters, we're right in the middle of this thing right now. So he's sitting at around 47 percent. She's at around 53 percent. And uh, what we're looking at right here is a lot of votes uh, here for her for Dr. Kim Schreier in King County. So this is a huge portion of her votes. Now, some of his uh, best supporters have come from the areas of Snohomish County and uh, some of the other counties on the uh, east side of the district, um, also in the uh, Pierce County area. Uh, so he is doing very well there, but she has that big uh, voting block in King County. We've noticed early on, of course, uh, the votes still coming in. So that is one to watch as well. Uh, this one, again, in Southwest Washington, a huge uh, national spotlight on on this right now, as you just mentioned, uh, Marie Glusenkamp Perez uh, with around 53% and Joe Kent with 47%. Now, some of her biggest votes are coming from Clark County, of course. It's you know a community of 500,000 people. It's the fifth uh, largest populated area in the state, so she is getting a lot of her support from there. Uh, also from Pacific County uh, out there uh, to the west. So that's where some of her bigger votes are coming in in her district. Of course, this is a district that has swung before. So uh, Jamie. Herrera Butler was primaried out in August of uh, this year uh, to Joe Kent. Uh, he's a big uh, Trump supporter and Trump supported him as well. Uh, and she, uh, Jamie Herrera Butler, if you'll recall, also voted to impeach Trump. So there was some question of whether um, that played a role in her getting primaried. Uh, and now it appears, at least for the time being, that it's blue for the moment as those votes come in. Of course, there's a lot to count yet, uh, but Marie Glusenkamp Perez uh, looking uh, like she is ahead uh, so far in this race. And what's interesting about that, I might note, is that over here to the east in District 4, Dan Newhouse also voted uh, to impeach, but that did not impact his uh, election results at all. So uh, he won handily there in District 4 against Doug White, and that race has been called. So uh, big contested races here in District 3 and District 8. Uh, also watching that you said just got called from Marilyn Strickland. We've been keeping an eye on that all day. Uh, a lot of her support, of course, coming from Olympia and Tacoma. She's at 57 uh, percent there, and uh, Keith Swank, uh, 43, in that race just getting called for her. So a lot of exciting stuff to watch county by county, and we'll keep tracking it. Back to you.